our Move IT project, patients, doctors and engineers have tried to address the problem that a sensor, such as a gate sensor or a fall sensor, can produce important data for the patient, but we have to find out how we distribute this data that a doctor knows what is going on, the patient knows what is going on, and in the end it is better in helping the patient. For this, we have developed a new concept. It is called Digital Health Pathways for Gait and Falls in PD. And this is a concept which guides sensors and their parameters along the patient journey. When, which information should be seen by whom. This is very important because just a good sensor cannot solve the clinical problem and by a digital health pathway we can actually help patients. So what is so exciting about the MOVE IT project is that we use a combination of three devices, pressure sensitive insoles to very reliably and continuously and quantitatively measure people's gait performance throughout the day in their own home living environment. It's unobtrusive because it's an insole, so patients don't even notice. As a second device, we use a pendular device worn around the neck that can reliably detect falls automatically. Um, and we use the, a smartphone where we provide the subjects with feedback um, about the actual data that have been collected, which I think is crucial to promote the subject's engagement with these innovative devices. This can show us specific symptoms like trembling in place at a very early stage. And it shows us alterations, for instance, reduction of step length, which can be also an early sign of developing Parkinson's disease. On the other hand, it can be even used in patients with definite Parkinson's disease to control their treatment because I can get information that I could not get from my clinical examination, potentially even in the home environment in real life, because the sensor gives information back to me and shows, oh, there was a problem, there was a fall, there was a trampling situation, and then I can adapt therapy. And our ultimate goal is to build towards digital pathways. And what I mean to say is sort of illustrated in this figure here. It's tracking the patient's own individual progression over time based on this continuous sensor data. And once you have this plot and the pattern which you think is typical for that personal patient, you can now begin to detect deviations from the path which herald the onset of worse times in the patient's life, which may actually predict the falls. And from a research perspective, I'm really excited by this public-private partnership between three universities with complementary knowledge and large private companies that also bring in their own unique expertise. I think the promise of this research project uh, is well beyond just gait and falls. If we can manage to do it for falls, we can begin to develop similar patterns for cognitive decline, um, uh, swallowing disorders, uh, loss of dexterity, you name it. So I think this is a key first step towards a better digitized world for people with Parkinson's disease.